So I'm going to take the tone of the paint up. So I'm just kind of wet brushing all of the new paintwork to bring it up. So now it looks like it's been snowing or something up here. Just waiting for this uh, piece to, to settle down and go clear so I can add some more because I really want to round, uh, round that off. Now over here, this is the end of the waterway so how this will work the water will appear from the back scene out of the, the scenery. It's come out of the light. And this is the, the first part of the river here, which then comes into this waterfall, which will then feed this river kind of, it's gonna be a kind of a rapid, but not too rapid. And down into the waterfall, and then out through there. So I've gone into there and painted over that sculptor mould and that's pretty much black. There's a very, very slight tinge of cerulean blue in there but it's more or less black as an underground world would be. So the idea is that I will build the water up in layers, in clear layers on top uh, to add the depth of clear water all the foam and splashes around the bottom of the waterfall but underneath is going to be black. So the top level has had the first brown wash and that's now as you can probably see there really starting to come together. The white is still coming through but it's toning down so uh, another brown wash will probably bring that. The top of there hasn't been washed because that's going to be covered anyway just the front of it to get a match okay so I've just given that another fairly deep pour we'll see what happens with that started work on the river up here so whereas I gave this many fairly shallow pours I'm going to try a deep-ish pour there. That's probably four millimeters, something like that. And I'm using my homemade uh, sculptor mold. I figured, well, when I get my hands on something and I realize I know what it is, then I just can't help it. I have to make my own. So, thinking of now, coating that, giving that a thin layer of this to add some strength. Okay, so this is actually kind of working, surprisingly. I've lifted that up, put it down on the desk, and just put a very, very thin layer of this on and then under there. And when I've turned it over, this piece is trying to fall down so I've just put a, a support under there to keep that in that position and I'm just going to complete I'm really this. pleased with that so far um, that was the former that I made it's just with polystyrene top side bracket there but it just it still requires a lot of work to bring the whole thing down um, with this tin foil and I've just got the kind of shape I did put a piece of uh, polystyrene in here I just cut some polystyrene and tucked that up inside the underneath of that so get out of the light yeah it's kind of you know I want that to, to come down and meet these two tunnels all in one smooth piece uh, also this is going to come over I'll probably bring this to show you, no, let's get there, 
the line of the of the railway the line, the line of the railway is here so I shall probably round that off and bring that all into the same shape again giving me more surface area I'll come right the way back to here and out to there that gives me nice area to work with all right well let's see how that goes so far so good that's kind of setting now and that has given me much more already than I had with all this polystyrene and filler and stuff. So I'll show you how this works. I've got my bonding mixture in there with a brush and that's all the, the sculptor mould there. And I'm just going to take that bonding on the brush and paint that over. But what that does, can you see like these gaps here, if I just come in like that, they're gone. So it kind of just texturizes everything and it just creates a good surface so you can't see any of the old uh, sculptor mold in there. And it adds a lot of strength as well to the whole piece. On the inside of the tunnels, this is the underneath that I'm doing now. It's as simple as that. And you can kind of brush, if you get, if you go to the bottom of the mix and you get some of the really heavy stuff, then you can actually use that as a filler. And there's a good stony texture. So I'm just getting the the other water fall into the final position. Some of the water in there and I've just done a second deep pour in there and I will be just agitating that with a popsicle stick. Like so. Just to get a watery effect. Just added a little bit more definition to the edges of that, make them a little bit thicker in there I've added some some drama to the surface of the water and also down here I've got the water rushing out of there into this uh, river scene and I've got the kind of this staining going on there, some green staining on the rock, that's going to be the seaweed, it's getting quite deep. So I'm just working out where the flat areas, how many of the flat areas are going to be used for ground cover material. I mean I, I put this line in a long time ago so that's going to be it's used. It's all going to be covered but I like to mix tones a little bit just slight variations in the color some are darker some are lighter do all of that just want to get some mud tones to go underneath there all of this gonna be done there we go grab some of that push it into there. Some more dot 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 dab. There you go. All of this. Because this is all this here, this set, this part here is going to be completely buried with plants and trees and everything. But I can't fit this piece until I finish that water in there and I'm still 
it's getting better, but it's just taking so long to clear up. I mean, the water underneath there is almost black, and that's what I need because it's underground, so it's got to be almost black. I need white foam, but you know, that's supposed to be <clears throat> the, the surface of the water, not foam, not yet. So now I'm going to take some of my ground foam. This is the spare jar. It's a really nice colour, really nice texture, but it's incompatible with uh, a lot of the other colours, like the woodland scenic stuff. So I'm going to use that as a kind of a base just to just to get something going, just so I can start to get a feel for what I'm going to do with this because I still don't know in the light there, some up there get this just straight into the paint I don't care how much I use, I just make loads of this stuff not quite a lot on there so I'll come around this side so I can get some in there some in the lid there so I can sprinkle some underneath there. This is only just the base layer. Gonna put some more. Shall I put some more? Yeah, why not? I've used some of my homemade sculptor mould to fit that down. There is a hole in there which goes all the way through which will allow me to fit the lights. I set it Add the highlights to the water and the waterfalls. Watery effects going on down there. I use the rest of my sculpt mold. You can see it's actually green. I added some green paint to the water to help, uh, just in case I spilt some. Now that is going to fit somewhere like that. Now 
this is the scorched turf scrub here. I'll put some of that down there. I'm going to use this, my bonding plaster mix, and take that on there. I'm just going to paint that all over there. So now I've got that kind of stone effect that I'm looking for. It's covered all that nicely and right into there all the way down in there with this and I've left that kind of jagged there this side is all done and white undercoated I just need to do this back inside area so this has turned out to be a very difficult piece to build it's still got good kind of access to get inside there that's how it looks from the inside that's it I've made the decision finished the piece I've cleaned the track I must now just fix it and that's it no going back after that so I need to fix this in place with plaster I need to repair this well not repair but I need to con connect these pieces here and this piece here I'll con connect that piece there and connect it there and that will be ready and then we've got more of a complete scene with regards to the structure tricky to get this into the right position but there I've used that to fix this piece in this area all in there has been moulded in and blended in there Nice and easy. I've realised that I can actually get some more. I can bring this out even further. So I've just mixed up some more. And I'll do that with this. So now that's been given the first of the brown washes, very watered down. The waterfall is protected. So I'll let that fade in, but you can see already that it's getting close. So 
So I'm really happy now that I have this kind of extra area to work with. I come around this way. You see, I've got a nice space there to add more scenic interest. <laughs> 